Hello, this is Darren with Smartsheet Guru. We're going to take a look at how we can get this list of 5,000 fake stores into this sheet and Smartsheet. Now, you're already familiar with how you can import an Excel file in the Smartsheet. However, the problem is this will create a new sheet, but we don't want to do that. We've already got this formula here, this column formula here, that's going to tell us the year of store opening. And that's connected to a conditional formatting rule that's going to highlight any stores open in 2025. So we really don't want to import from Excel, create a new sheet. We want to do it in this sheet here. Luckily, our friends over at SS Features have created a utility to do this. You can get your trial at smartsheetguru.com slash ssfeatures. To use this feature, it's very easy. We just go to import. We click import into this sheet. Going to just remind us that we're going to be importing data in the sheet. So if we have anything important, we'll want to save that. We choose our source file, which has many supported formats. We'll go ahead. We're going to choose that Excel file. I've got that right there. Guru stores 5,000. Next, and then we can choose to append the data into the sheet, which we don't have anything currently, but if we did, we could do that, add new rows. We can merge the data based on a key value. So if we have updates to our list, we want to bring those updates in, we can merge them based on the store ID. In this case, we'll go ahead, we'll choose replace all sheet rows with the data. We could filter the data if we wish. For example, we could say only bring in stores that are in the state of, say, Arizona, for example. However, we're not going to do that. We're just going to bring them all in. Our next course of action is to map the columns in our source to the columns in our destinations sheet and smart sheet. These do not have to be named the same, obviously. We just map them. Okay, now we'll go ahead, we'll hit import and we'll let it do its magic. All right, there we go, we're done. So there's um, store number one. We'll scroll down all the way down to 5,000. Now, if you're interested in seeing this, we can see what it looks like when we update one of these and we'll merge it. So open that Excel file here, go back to the top. Okay. Let's say, let's change the opening date on here. We'll change it to 1992. There we go. I'm save that. Go ahead to our import here, or let's save that file, of course, first. This is why SS Features warns you to save it. Go back to that import, import into the sheet. Next, we'll choose that source again. Now we're going to merge the data based on that key column. We're not going to do any filtering. We'll Choose the store ID as the unique identifier. And if you notice, it's remembered my mapping here from the previous upload, which is really nice. Okay, so let's check it out. There we go. Grand opening date, 7-22-1922. If you remember, let's go save that. If you remember previously, it was 1982. And SS features picked up that we changed that one to 1982. And none of these other columns change. None of these other rows change. We can verify that in the activity log where we see that the only two things that changed were the opening date and then, of course, the year of store opening because that is a formula pulling the year from there. To get SS features extension, visit smartsheetguru.com slash SS features. You can download your trial and there's a nice little discount code should you decide to keep it and subscribe. Thanks for watching.